Hey there, it's Myrna, the DevRel Manager here at Tiny. I am joined by John Rao, the Product Marketing Manager. Today we're going to talk about what's new in Tiny MCE 6.6, and we're thrilled to introduce the remarkable AI Assistant plugin that brings the power of ChatGPT's generative AI directly into your rich text editor. We have designed this plugin to evolve with the changing landscape of content creation, providing developers with innovative tools to enhance their customers' creative output. It will empower users to explore new ideas, generate engaging content, and achieve more efficient results. After extensive customer research, we've ensured that this offering is a seamless and familiar integration so that it's not just an addition to a rich text editor, but a genuinely useful companion tool. Would you like to add anything to this, John? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you pretty much covered it, Marina, but uh, maybe one thing to add is uh, in all of our research, uh, speaking with you, our customers, and doing a lot of independent research, we found two things that make generative AI really useful in content creation apps. The first one is a seamless user interface, which we're really excited to show to you, uh, that feels familiar to generative AI apps and other content creation apps that your users are already using. And the second thing that makes AI super useful within your app is the ability to do pre-written prompts, basically writing your own prompts so that your users who are not AI experts can start to leverage AI. Um, so with that, maybe we should jump right into the demo and show everybody how it works. Yes, let's do it. Let's dive into the technical details and see firsthand how AI Assistant plugin can transform your content creation experience. Here I have our newly loaded uh, tiny MC AI Assistant demo. And as you can see, you would uh, you'll see some two new buttons in our toolbar. It has the um, Ask AI button as well as the AI Shortcuts button. Um, do you have an idea on what I can ask the AI Assistant, John? Well, Marina, we have to let people know about this new AI Assistant that we're launching for TinyMC. So how about a marketing email that, uh, that announces a new plugin? Yes, let's do it. So let's ask it to write a marketing email for promoting TinyMC's new AI assistant plugin. Um, and we're going to wait for our AI assistant to get back to us. And voila, look at that, will you? There's a um, templated and formatted email that's being generated for you with the hyperlinks, with uh, kind of uh, the what the value the AI assistant can add to it. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Are you happy with this? Yeah, it looks like a great starting point. As a, as a marketer, I can sort of take this and start adding in the individual facts that I want. And I think it, we don't need to show this today, but it looks like I can even provide some feedback and tweak it if I wanted to. Very yeah, cool. you can. Yeah, if, you, if you're familiar with the ChatGPT interface, you can always ask it to uh, generate a response again. Similarly, we've uh, incorporated that. And, you know, as we said, it's going to be familiar and you can try again. But for now, let's go ahead and insert this. And you can see that what you asked for is kind of what you get um, in terms uh, of this content. So that's really exciting. Um, now, we saw like what you can do, and this is something you've already seen with, you know, probably interacting with ChatGPT. What I think is really cool is, let's say you already have some preloaded content in your rich text editor. I'm going to switch over to this demo example. Uh, I've loaded an abstract for a paper I was recently reading, um, and it's about growing a growth mindset. Now, um, I'm maybe not familiar with some of the topics and some of the keywords used over here. And let's say while I'm reading this content, I just want to understand what STEM means. So I can quickly click on this AI shortcuts button and ask um, Tiny AI uh, Assistant to explain STEM to me. And it will actually ping OpenAI and give me a short response on what STEM is, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, what the acronym is used for, and so on and so forth. Um, another example, which I think is really fascinating and helps folks like me, especially when you're on a time crunch, right, to absorb content, um, is summarize. You can actually click on this whole thing and ask AI assistants to summarize, and it'll give you a short paragraph highlighting what is going on in that content. So in this abstract, it's going to tell you how they uh, attempted the research, what were the factors that influenced students' beliefs on intelligence, and ultimately what they concluded from that research. So without having to read through this entire uh, set of content, you know, you quickly got a summary of that. 
And of course, there's a lot of other preloaded prompts that we have over here that you can use uh, to sort of aid in your content creation while you're using um, the editor. Um, now, if that's all, I actually would like to share a little bit more on the technical aspects of TinyMC and how we can get started um, on some of the configuration options. So I'm gonna share this tab with everyone. And this is sort of like a fiddle that I have open um, and you know we can play around with uh, the sort of configurations to influence this editor over here. And um, the two probably most important, um, well, for one, if you wanna add the AI plugin to your editor, you simply just include the word AI in the list of plugins and it will quickly add that to your editor. Now, if you want to add um, these two shortcuts uh, to your toolbar, you would add AI dialog and AI shortcuts and that will enable you to have the sort of AI assistant prompt as well as the shortcuts. Now, what is really cool about the AI shortcuts, it's, it's completely customizable. So the default prompts are of course loaded but what you can do is you can actually, uh, this is an array, so you can actually pass in a list of your own predefined prompts or uh, in addition to our existing prompts. And our documentation has a full list on how uh, you can actually help yourself achieve that. Um, and we realize, and we the reason we did this is because we realized the importance of prompt engineering and the importance of predefined prompts for your customers because you know, um, there are going to be adults out there who have never played around with AI, but it could really benefit their user experience. And we want them to be successful. So um, allowing uh, your users to have a list of prompts that they can play around with. And then once they're used to it, um, kind of go and transition into asking the AI what they want is uh, sort of the goal over here. Um, I would also like to highlight that there's a lot of other customizable features uh, to enhance the functionality. For example, um, there's some MC AI dialog button. Uh, we have AI request, AI response, AI error, uh, which basically handles communication with the AI endpoint. Um, and furthermore, it also provides a, a sense of error handling, um, which is very important, especially when you're interacting with an external API endpoint. Um, I would also like to showcase um, that in this demo, um, you know, I keep talking that we're connecting to open uh, AI's API. Here you can see that um, the API key is what we ask our AI request, which is basically a promise that is um, asking our open AI for a response. And you can see that it directly connects with the open AI's um, API endpoint over here. Um, so, and yeah, uh, once you get your open API key, you can directly connect with it. Um, the other thing I wanted to highlight was the need for like a server side endpoint to connect to open AI API. Um, over here, we are of course uh, sending the API key uh, through the client side. Um, but I also have an example pulled up over here where we actually just send our API key directly to our proxy server. And it allows developers to create their own interface between TinyMC and OpenAI. Um, and this just provides the extra security that you need um, to make sure that your API key is safe. Uh, so, uh, John, I have talked a lot about uh, how the technical details of this was working. I would love to understand how developers uh, can get their hands on this. Yeah, great question. So if you want to add this revolutionary generative AI capabilities to your app that your users want, it's going to help them be more productive, more efficient, and generate more higher quality work. It's super easy. Um, if you've never signed up for Tiny MC before, all you have to do is go to our website, tiny.cloud, sign up for a 14-day free trial, and the AI assistant is included in your 14-day free trial. You can play with it, pressure test it, set up your custom prompts, See, see if it works for your use case. If you are already a TinyMCE customer or you're on one of our cloud plans, whether it's a free one or a paid one, you can also test it out. You just have to go to the URL in the description where you can fill out a form and we'll add it to your account for a 14 day trial as well as part of your, your account. Um, the plugin itself, the AI system plugin 
Uh, once your trial's over, you do have to be on a paying plan to uh, to take advantage of, of the AI assistant as, a, as an add-on to your plan. Um, so that's really, really it if you want to get your hands on it. And then one thing that I just wanted to pitch for our, our product team and our engineering team, we're really excited to see how you're using the AI assistant. We want to know how you're using it. We want to see how you're using it. And we want to know um, what, you know, if you were to have any improvements made, what, what would you like to see next? Um, so please do share your feedback on our roadmap, tiny.cloud slash roadmap on GitHub or with your account manager if, if you're a customer. Awesome. So thank you for watching this Tiny 6.6 .6 release video. We're really excited to see how you leverage the AI Assistant plugin and take your customer's content creation process to a whole new level. Happy coding!